this is Anil with a video tutorial for the learning lab on C programming so in this video tutorial we're gonna see how we can in this video tutorial I'm gonna teach you one of the method which is used to pass the value to a function and that is called pass by value so another method is called pass by reference and uh, we're gonna see that in some other tutorial so here for the demonstration purpose we're gonna create a function called uh, display and uh, this display function is gonna take two parameters which are of type integers so I'm just gonna uh, prototyping it here so next in my main function I'm gonna create two variables x and y so I'm gonna exit this x with a value of 10 and the y with a value of 20 next we're gonna use a printf statement to print the values it's gonna be printf and we're gonna say x is percentage %d and uh, y is percentage %d we have to refer this x and y then we're gonna use this display function and uh, we're just gonna pass the parameters it's gonna be display then the parameters are gonna be um, x and y so now we need to define our display function it's gonna be wide display so it's gonna take two parameters it's gonna be int let's say a comma int b so here we're gonna print it out it's gonna be printf a is percentage d and b is percentage d it's gonna be a comma b I'm gonna save it compile it and run it so as you can see here we have x is 10 and y is 20 then a is 10 and b is 20 that's because you know first we initialized our x and y variable with the values of 10 and 20 and uh, then we just printed out then we called the display function and passed the values of this x and y so here for the variable a the value of x was copied and for the va variable b the value of y was copied so that's why it says a is 10 and b is 20 the main thing or the purpose of this tutorial is when we pass these values to a function you know that these values of this x and y will be copied to this a and b so in memory there will be four variables they are x and y in some memory space then the variables a and b in some other memory space Uh, you know one variable is x one is y and uh, another one is a which is defined inside a function and uh, another one is b which is defined in another function so we have x one in one place y is one place and a in one place and uh, b in some other place so this x gonna contain the value 10 and this y is gonna contain the value 20 so when we call this display function you know the values of this x and y will be copied to these variables a and b that's why this a is gonna contain 10 and uh, b is gonna contain 20 so if we change the values of this a and b here this a and b values will be changed in this memory location this change in values is not gonna affect the values of this x and y that's because you know this x and y are stored in some other memory place and uh, you know this uh, a and b will be stored in some other memory place so we're gonna see in our program right now so in this display function I'm gonna change the values of this a and b so let's make it a equal to let's say 100 and uh, b equal to 200 and we're just gonna print it out save it and in this uh, uh, main function I'm gonna copy this printf statement and uh, place it after here and here I'm gonna say before function call and here I'm gonna say after function call so now I'm gonna save it compile it and run it so as you can see here it says before the function call x is 10 and y is 20 that's because we have as in the values to this x and y then we call this display function that's why in the function it says 
a is 10 and b is 20 that's because you know the values of x and y were copied to this variables a and b then we change the values of this a equal to 100 and uh, b equal to 200 and then we printed the values of a and b that's why we're getting a is 100 and b is 200 so once this function returns or uh, once this you know display function finishes execution so the values of a and b will be lost and the changing in the values of a and b will not affect the values of this x and y that's because you know they are stored in different memory locations that's why when we print it by using the printf statement after the function call or, or after the display function you know this x and y value still remains 10 and 20 so this is it this is about the pass by value in c and in the next tutorial we're gonna see pass by reference which is more interesting than this one so thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next tutorial.